Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. So let's get into it, child. What's going on, you guys? It's be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, okay? And we got two things to discuss tonight. Now, before we get into this review, well, this episode of Yes for the Mess, I just want to let you guys know I'm filming a couple of videos so you guys can be fed at least till Saturday because you guys know that my birthday is Saturday. So after tonight, I won't be doing any more videos. So I'm going to try to do at least three or four tonight. So you guys can be fed tomorrow and at least by Saturday. Or you may not get no video on Saturday because it is my birthday. But I'm just it just depends on what I'm going to talk about. Because I got to do this video. And I got to do Growing Up Hip Hop too. So I'm trying to get all my gossip videos done now before Growing Up Hip Hop comes on. And like I said, you guys can be fed and possibly do like a, a big Are You Serious video for maybe Saturday or Sunday. Just so you guys can have something to watch because I've just slowly but surely gotten back on YouTube. And it's been a struggle. Y'all, when you be gone for a while, when I be gone, when I, like when I take a break for like three, four, five days, when I come back. It'd be hard for me to get back on track, but it is what it is. But um, I also want to let you guys know before we get into it that this has not been the best week and a half for me at all. As you guys already know, I just lost my cousin. And then on top of that, two weeks prior to me losing my cousin, I lost my auntie. So I have kind of slipped into a bit of depression. This has been a rough week for me. I don't know if you guys have noticed the low energy on my end because it has been very low, but it is what it is. I'm still here, still trying to give y'all the content that y'all want and that y'all need, okay? So, um, yeah, so I'm still trying to trying to push through, give y'all what y'all need and still work through my own inner issues and everything that I got going on around me. So, um, you know, but thank you guys for, um, all your prayers. Thank you guys for everything that y'all have said to me on Instagram. Thank you guys for all of that. Now, with that being said, um, also I already asked you guys, I, I, I of course it's probably going to be a premiere video. So I'm going to look at the playback and look at the comments, but if you guys want me and Terrence and Josiah to come together once again, to do roast and review for a second season to talk about candy and the gang, let me know because people have been asking us for it. Just like they asked us for the Porsche panel. We can do the candy panel too. I was going to review the show anyway, but I just want to know if you guys wanted us as a collective to review the show. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. So um, first of all, like I said, just let me know what y'all want on that. And then we can keep it trucking. So um, before we get into um, the show as well, let me go ahead and do what I got to do as I normally do with uh, my promotions. Coming up next is a collaboration between me and popular TikToker Playboy Marty, or you can call him Mod the Dawn. Okay. Um, I just talked to him yesterday. So um, we're trying to come together and do collaboration when he comes home from his routes and stuff like that. And once he comes home, we're going to figure out what we're going to do on this video, but it's going to be hilarious, okay? And I know a lot of people love them Samadhi. My boy is almost at a million followers, okay? And that's a lot coming from someone that's from the same city as me, doing the same thing as me. I am very much so happy for him, and um, I cannot wait to do a collab with him because this is going to be um, absolutely funny, okay? Um yeah, so that's pretty much it on that part. Um, now, next up is the promo for your favorite reality TV panel. Let's get into that, and then we're going to get into the mess. All right, all right, all right. And that was the promo for the Whether You Like It or Not panel, which will be going into its third season, where it will feature myself, Josiah, Terrence, Yarell, Really B, Sakina, and we will be having Brandy Chanel up as an official um, panelist. Okay, Reggie will be making his um, rounds as a guest panelist again this season. And um, I'm looking at some other people to come in as a guest panelist. Um, is a, a smaller YouTuber by the name of B Stinger. I actually love her. 
I love her swag and I love her style. I've been talking to her about being a guest panelist. Um, another one that I'm looking at is Gigi with the juice. I'm not sure yet because we already got like seven people. So I don't want to get too many people up there because six was already pushing it. But then Josiah and the rest of the team wanted Brandy on the team. So, and as well as me, as well as the people that watch. So that's seven people. So I don't want to put too many people up here, but I already know for a fact that Reggie will be a guest panelist, but I'm definitely looking at B Stinger or Gigi with the juice to be um, a guest panelist. But if I don't decide to go with Gigi, with the juice to be a panelist, I'm definitely going to work with her on something else because I have an idea. So she'll be working with me regardless of whether or not she's on the panel or not. So, um, okay, so I just spent five minutes talking about shit other than what we got going on. So let's get right on into business. Okay, let's start off with some positive news. Let's start off with Eve, EVE, how you do that? 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 Yes, my girl Eve and her husband, Maximilian Cooper, has announced the birth of their son. I think it's a son. Is it a son or a daughter? I think it's a son. Yeah, a son by the name of Wild Wolf. Okay, I don't know what the hell kind of name is that, but that's the name. So we're about to get on into this article from people.com. Let me go off screen, and then I'm going to put this picture up here so you guys can see it for yourself. Okay, so let's get into it. This article comes from people.com, and it states, Eve is a mom. Okay, Eve is a mom. Eve is a mom. Um, the 43-year-old rapper has welcomed her first child, a son, with husband Maximilian Cooper. She announced on Thursday morning on Instagram, Our beautiful baby boy was born on February the 1st, 2022. Eve writes alongside a photo of her newborn, whom the couple have named Wild Wolf Fife. Alexander Summers Cooper swaddled and sleeping in a Moses basket. The new mom adds, words can't describe this feeling. Sharing the same photo to his Instagram, Cooper says, let the wild rumpus begin, okay? Now, I think I got, oh, wait, 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 let me continue. In November, Eve announced the exciting news that she and Cooper were expecting their first baby together in February. The Who's That Girl singer shared the happy update alongside photos of herself cradling her baby bump while wearing an all black ensemble. Can you believe it? We finally get to tell everyone. You all know how long we've been waiting for this blessing. We get to meet our little human in February of 2020, Eve captioning her post. Reposting the same images to his page, Cooper, who is age 49, wrote, very excited to share this news. We have a little human on the way. Eve married the British entrepreneur in June of 2014 after four years of dating, and she's a stepmom to Cooper's four teenage children from his previous marriage. Last December, she told people about adjusting to being a stepmom and why she felt lucky to have had that instant family. It's now been 10 and a half years I've been in their lives and they've been in my life. They've grounded me. In the beginning, when I first met my husband and then boyfriend, I was like, this is never going to last because you got four kids. How's this going to work? Recalled Eve. But then I met the kids. And honestly, I was like, the, wow, kids are amazing. I would say it took years, though. I'm not going to lie at it. The former co-host of The Talk. It did take two or three years to adjust just our relationship with the kids. But I have to say, I'm very lucky. I feel very, very lucky that I have my Insta kids. I call them my bonus children. OK, um, I think that's about it. So I think I got some audio here talking about this so let me play it for you guys let me play it real quick and then we're gonna talk about it and move on to the to the biggest topic that we got up here let's get into it if it ever plays child hold on you guys it's an ad going that's probably why let me let this ad play real quick and then we're gonna move on child Because um, if I had known it was going to be an ad plan, I would have been had this shit loaded and ready, child. He is a mom. The rapper announced on Instagram Thursday that she has welcomed her first child, a son, with husband Maximilian Cooper. Alongside a photo of her newborn swaddled and sleeping in a Moses blanket, Eve wrote, Our beautiful boy was born February 1st, 2022, with a little blue heart emoji. The couple have named their son Wild Wolf, Wild Wolf Fife Alexander Summers Cooper. Wow. The new mom added that words can't describe this feeling. 
words clearly can describe the name, uh, but not the feeling that I'm sure she has. I mean, listen, Eve is a great rapper, so she's got away with words, but I'm even tripping over the name. It sounds very regal to me. And granted, my name is Darren. So I, I know I know about unique names. But what do you think of it? Is, is he going to live up to the powerful name that he's been given? I do not know about unique names because I have a very boring name, but uh, I think that this name is fun. And I think, you know, I'm interpreting it as little hints uh, at her, at, at different little inspirations. Ooh. Eve iconically has two paw print tattoos yes. on her chest. So that's giving me a little bit of wolf vibe. Also in her Instagram caption, she put a quote from where the wild things are. So wild hearkening to the first name so there's these cute little references i think they drew from also she has four stepchildren her husband kid from a previous relationship um and they have unique names i think one's lotus and mini um so i think they definitely like the different more hollywood names and it's fun you know we're not going to see a Chad <laughs> as a Hollywood <laughs> kid or Kevin. It's it's always the more out there fun names. And, you know, when you've got the cool parents, you can definitely rock it. So it seems like they had fun with yes. their little one's name. And so cute. So nice. So happy for them. Love the baby boom we're in. I love the baby we were in. And to me, honestly, maybe just because we're kind of in tax season that I just think about Wild having to write his name. <laughs> all the time and it takes bubble in the sat test <laughs> right. like, during the script i'm like what's his license look like do we have <laughs> this that's where my mind goes but i love the name wild and i'm so excited for eve it's going to be interesting to see uh, how long he takes to write out his whole name moving forward but congratulations <laughs> eve all righty that's pretty much it from that particular audio from people reality check okay so the pit bull in the skirt is finally a mother and i must say that i am very happy for her period i'm happy for eve no lie no doubt no nothing i am happy for eve i never thought that she would ever have a child to be honest because she just never gave me the type that wanted kids but i'm glad that she's that she's happy she's in love she's having kids with the right man and Honestly, it is what it is. I am just happy for her. Real talk. I am happy for her 100%. Um, I'm glad that she's in a place that she is. You know, a lot of the times we don't get to see our faves in these particular places, but she's in that place and she seems to be happy. She seems to be glowing. And I'm glad she had this baby because listen, when you, when I first met Eve, I was 10 years old in the fifth grade when she came out with what y'all niggas want, what we want, ma. Can't touch, uh, all y'all niggas need what we need in our lives right here with me. Sound y'all want to hear, who that, who that, Swizz Beats, uh, I'm the one who fear, uh, uh, with them damn kitchen made ass braids she had in her head and all the girls in the neighborhood wanted them some Eve braids. My sister was one of them. So yeah, it was, it was, it's, it's very nice to see Eve evolve. Like just looking at her from when she first came out to seeing her now, it is amazing. And I'm loving every second of it. So shout out, shout out to Eve, the pit bull in a skirt, honey, rough riders, first lady. I love it. I love it. I love it. Shout outs to Eve y'all. I'm so happy for Eve. Y'all, y'all can't tell me any different. I love me some Eve. Can't nobody tell me shit about Eve, baby. Okay, I love me some Eve. Now, next up is the baby. That's who next up. He been out here fighting and stuff, acting like he ain't got no career, making himself look stupid. Now, I got a video here that shows him getting into a fight with Danny Lee's, uh, is it Danny Lou, Danny Lee, whatever the girl name is, fighting with his baby mama brother at a bowling alley, okay? Now, as you already know, there's been some, there's been some back and forth between the baby and his baby mama. And then, of course, the brother got involved and is saying he was going to catch a fade when he saw him. Now, the baby saw him at a bowling alley and proceeded to throw hands on him. But not only did the baby throw hands on him, his people threw hands on him as well. So let's look at the video. It's pretty short. I don't know how much you're going to see, but it's pretty short. But here's the video that I got from the neighborhood talk. Let's go. Oh, dang. It ain't even the video, child. That's the damn picture. Here you go. <laughs>
All right, that was the quick ass video that I got of the baby putting hands on Danny Lee's brother and um his people putting hands on his on her brother as well. Now, uh I'm going to leave my opinions until after we finish this um article because there's an article and then he went live, the brother went live, Brandon Bills went live to say whatever he needed to say in regards to this situation, okay? So I got an article here from complex.com. We about to get on into that article first and then we're going to go back into some audio again. So the footage was making the rounds early Thursday showing the baby involved in a fight with Brandon Bills that is the brother of the Blame It On Baby artist's former girlfriend, Donnie Lee. The footage in question, which is said to stem from an incident that occurred at a bowling alley in the Los Angeles area, though the exact location has not been confirmed, shows the baby and his crew physically attacking Bills. At one point in the footage shared on Thursday, the baby is clearly visible walking toward the camera. His outfit, meanwhile, matches the one seen in a recent Instagram post. Meanwhile, a recent Instagram story from update from Bills showed him at a bowling alley. Complex has reached out to reps for the baby for comment and subsequent stories in a subsequent stories update. Danny Lee, who previously made headlines with the baby in connection with the much discussed Instagram live incident last year, addressed this latest lame and so sad bowling fight. She posted lame as hell running up on my brother on some slippery ass floors with five, with five to six of his boys while he's by himself and not even touching him lame and so sad i pray this stops now because this is my family and i got a daughter to raise okay and at the time of this um writing the in my feelings artist ig account appeared to have been temporarily removed but brandon bills has also addressed the fight saying in a social share clip as seen below that he was grabbed by his hair and jumped during the incident okay um shortly after the footage started making the rounds early thursday tmz um cited that law enforcement sources out has as having confirmed that the police are now investigating the baby for assault with the deadly weapon per the report the investigation is taking the angle due to bills having been kicked out being kicked in the head while on the ground complex has reached out to local agencies for additional comment and will update this post accordingly amid um November's coverage of the aforementioned Instagram live incident, Danny Lee referred to the baby as an evil ass man, with Danny's mother, Vicky, also chiming in to state that this was clearly a toxic situation for her daughter and her granddaughter. The same month, it was reported that Danny Lee had been charged with two counts of simple assault. Now, that's it for the complex article. Now, I'm going to go into what um, Brandon Bills had to say on instagram after the situation so let me go back to the neighborhood talk because you know they messy as hell but i love it um they posted what he said okay so let me go to it real quick let me go to it real quick let me see if i can find it let me see if i can find it let me see if i can find it find it find it okay here you go y'all so here go the audio that i got from the neighborhood talk with him talking about it here you go i'll be by my hair Niggas didn't catch no fair one. Niggas didn't came and jump me, my nigga. Once I slipped, nigga, I spoke to you like a man, my nigga. I say, yo, come, let's talk one on one like some men, my nigga. Me and you on the side, my nigga. On some real nigga shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's some bitch ass nigga shit. Ain't no brownie points there, my nigga. Niggas grab me by my fucking hair, nigga, on that slippery ass floor, my nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. One, one, one person, nigga. I was by myself, nigga. And I stood right there, nigga. I spoke to you. Well, all your niggas right there, my nigga. I bet you that shit would have been not been slippery, nigga. I would have been throwing, nigga. It would have been on, my nigga. It would have been on for real. Niggas want to grab me by my. Okay, so that's pretty much the audio from this situation. Okay, and I think there is more to speak on in regards to this. Let me look up one more time before I go back on camera, child. Let me go back. Okay, so it says that the cops are getting involved, according to TMZ. So I guess the cops are getting involved in this whole little situation with the baby and the brother and Danny Lee. Okay, and um, just for a fun moment, let me just throw in when the baby said that his bars is on par with Jay Z, J Cole, and um Kendrick Lamar and Nas. Let me just play that clip real quick, and then we're gonna go back to what we're talking about to get out of here and get ready for growing up hip hop. People respect. The high level rap ability. Nah, oh, nah, for nah. sure. Don't get it fucking twisted. You know what I'm saying? Now, I like please. to turn people up. I like to make people feel good. But at the same time, you're going to have to go get uh, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole for me, nigga. Nas, Jay Z. Yeah, you I like that lineup. You're going to get these bars. You're going to get these bars. 
Si Uh-uh. Okay, so um, I'm going to read what was at the bottom of that. It says that it looks like the baby can't get enough of the spotlight. He said that his little bars, Shade, could be compared to Nas, Jay-Z, J. Cole, and Kendrick Lamar. The baby has been trending, but not for his music, but let's talk about it. The baby became popular for his hit, Suge. After the release of that song, he continued to release music, all of it having the same rhythm. Apparently, the baby has an amazing group of supporters who gas him up to what new hip-hop called unreali unrealistic standards. According to Hot New Hip Hop, this is what the rapper had to say in the interview when asked about his music. I like to turn people up. I like to make people feel good, but at the same time, you're going to have to get Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, for me, Nas, Jay-Z, he said, you got to get them ones. Listeners feel like the baby hasn't quite earned a spot up there with the likes of Jay-Z and other artists. What you think? Now, before we get into what we really here to talk about, which is this damn fight that he got into, let me just say this. The baby need to shut up. But at the same point in time, you people, and I'm saying you people, you people who big him up so much have made him believe that he is on par with these people. The baby could never see Jay-Z nor Nas. The baby could never make an album like Reasonable Doubt or ever make an album like The Blueprint. He'll never make an album like Steelmatic. He'll never make an album like Illmatic. He'll like he he could never. He could never make an album like Godson. He could never make a song like I Can. He could never make a song like Got Yourself a Gun. Like he could never make a song like One Mic. And don't get me started on Jay-Z and all his B-sides and everything else. And Kendrick Lamar, you ain't seen Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole either. Could you ever make a song as inspirational as Crooked Smile? That was very inspirational to me. Could you ever do that? I think not. Okay, period. So I just had to throw that in since we talking about the baby. Yeah, I had to throw that in because I ain't talking about him in another video after this one unless something else comes up with this case. Now, as far as this fight between him and Brandon, I see a lot of people online saying that y'all need to stop putting y'all brothers in y'all brothers need to stop getting any they can get killed that might be true but i don't know what family y'all might be from but when it come down to it as when a man is i'm gonna tell you a story okay and i should say this for br you serious but let me tell y'all a story it's in regards to me and my sister now me and my sister may not get along as much as we probably should don't get me wrong we get along but we don't get along as much however when it came down to it when the nigga tried to put his hands on her i was there that's why i got jumped just like this man did because i was defending my sister ain't no way in hell no dude finna come for my sister and i got breath to breathe and hands to throw i don't care if i lose a fight i've always told you guys that now i always say i'm not a fighter i'm no one's fighter i don't go out looking for fights i'm no one's fighter but the thing is i'm not afraid of one if you bring it to me i'm gonna bring it back to you this is what i do if you bring it i'm gonna bring it back that's the story here so no i'm not afraid of a fight and I don't look for them. But if you bring it, I'm going to bring it back. So, yes, I've gotten into a situation where a dude called himself trying to fight my sister. And he was all on social media with the bullshit, with the bull swanky. That's what he was doing, with the bull swanky. And I ain't appreciate it. So, yes, I decided, okay, listen, bruh, this ain't what you want. Don't, don't, don't do that with my sister. This ain't what you want, period. Okay? We got into a fight. Other people got involved. I'm the one that got charged. We were teenagers at the time. I had just turned 18. My sister was six. Was she 16? I had just turned 18. My sister was 16. The person was 17. So I'm the one that got charged with simple assault on a minor because I was 18 and they were 17. However, the charges got dropped because they didn't come to court. So the fact of the matter is... I've been in that place where I've gotten into a fight due to the fact of my sister. So I don't see nothing wrong with it. But the thing that make me cringe about this is, Brandon, are you black? Because if you're not black, please stop saying the N-word. You were saying it a little bit too much for me. Why are you saying this word? I was with you until you started saying that N-word, child. Don't say that N-word if it ain't in you, okay? Don't say the N-word if you ain't black. I keep telling you that, and I don't care what nobody got to say about it. Oh, none of us should be using the word. No, we shouldn't be. But certain people know, need to know their damn place and not use it either. Period. 
That's what I'm going to say, period, okay? So he don't need to be using that word. That's number one. Number two, it's just sad to see the baby out here fighting. He got a whole career. He got children. Why is he out there fighting and doing all this crazy shit? And on top of that, why you, why your, why your posse got to jump in? It's one person. It's one of him and about a million of y'all, and y'all want to jump on this dude. That's just like how Meek Mill and his posse jumped on Safari. What y'all jumping on Safari for of all people? Like, come on now, bro. What y'all fight? What y'all jumping on him for? You know what I'm saying? So, now nah, I would never get with that jumping stuff because it's happened to me. So, I would never be with that jumping stuff, period. I, I'm just not with it. I, I just... I just don't know. I just feel like it's a very volatile situation. It's a very toxic situation. And they need to, all of them need to leave it be, let it go and stop it. Because it's really not that deep. The baby and Danny Lee don't get along. That's cool. But they need to learn how to get along for the child. Not get along so they can get back together, sleep together, and then get back on Instagram and do all that foolish mess that they was doing before. No, they don't need to be doing that. What they need to do is get along for the sake of their child. But yet they all on social media fighting that bowling alleys and all that other junk so my thing is are y'all gonna defend the baby for this too the way y'all was defending him up and down about that lgbt outrage that he got and all this other stuff the way y'all defended him when he punched that woman in the face are y'all gonna defend him for this too that's what i want to know because when it come down to certain people, y'all love to get in y'all bag and ride the imaginary dinglings and stuff like that. That's what y'all want to do. But but y'all don't call them out for what they need to be called out for. And that's just real shit, period. The baby is delusional. The baby thinks that he's on the level of a Jay-Z and Nas, and he even thinks he's on the level of J. Cole and, Ken and Kendrick Lamar. He ain't even proven himself yet to be that. So stop it. He ain't nowhere near them. Nowhere near their levels or anything like that. So I don't know what make him think that. I guess that Grammy nomination and these foolish ass girls that buy his music got his head plumped up. And these baby mamas, Mimi and Danny, who we supposed to be feeling sorry for, who I don't feel sorry for her, period. But okay, girl. Okay, girl. It is what it is. So I, I ain't with that. I don't like the fact that they jumped on that boy. I don't. I don't like it. Like, I don't care. Like, period. It's only one person. One person and y'all jumping on and five of y'all jumping on him. One person. That's weak as hell to me. Why can't people fight one on one? I remember back in the gavel, we were growing up and, and people had an issue with a person. They fought one on one. Nobody jumped in the fight unless somebody else jumped in the fight. If you going to jump in the fight, like if my friends get into a fight and no, if my friend got into a fight with somebody else and it's a one on one fight, we let them have a one on one fight and we break the shit up. But when somebody else jump in, that's when everybody else jumps in the fight. We don't just jump people like talking about. And at the end of the day, we all in our 30s. Ain't the baby in his 30s or something like that? Like maybe I don't maybe he's not. I don't know. But I know I'm 32, going to be 33 in two days. Who got time to be fighting at a damn bowling alley? When I'm coming to a bowling alley, I want to eat my nachos. I want to drink my alcohol and lose because I can't bowl worth a damn. So ain't nobody going to no bowling alley for that bullshit, period. OK, so that it is what it is. But child is a hot mess and i'm pretty sure there's going to be some updates on this story so y'all need to be ready and prepared because i will be covering this child okay so with that being said everybody this be your boy scotty by nature be sure to like rate comment subscribe and share this video also please click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops whether you're a new subscriber or old click that bell so you can be notified honey okay and if you want to follow me on any form of social media all you gotta do is look down at the description box down below the twitter and the ig will be down below but i do follow people back on ig so if you want me to follow you back all you gotta do is hit me up at the dms with the hashtag mrs team scotty and i would definitely follow you back okay now with that being said you guys your boys out of here until my next video i'll holler at you guys later peace out